Now, there's uh, something I wanted to talk about here also with the simping versus pimping. You guys know what a simp is? Do you guys know what a simp is? You guys are gonna, if you, if you don't know what a simp is, you're gonna hear that a lot in this uh, social media streets. So I think we should talk about it today. I'm actually going to respond to a video that a young lady, small channel, but I'm just gonna react to it anyway. Um, if we have time, if we have time. But they were talking about simping. Particularly, um, there's also a lot of people that are called simps today are men that marry single mothers or encourage marrying single mothers okay a lot of social media men quote unquote modern men essentially they are also calling them simps okay all right so that's where the you know the caption came from simping or pimping so it's a question if you marry a single mother is that simping or pimping if you had to pick one what would you say it is now the men would be more appropriate to answer that questions because really i want to know what's going on in their mind these days you know but let me know what your thoughts are as i feel like a lot of women have also engaged this type of conversations like the video i'm going to try to play later on you guys should kind of remind me if i haven't played it by the top of the hour um that the woman you know is you know there's a lot of uh quote-unquote objective women they, they are objective they can understand the men right aha uh -huh. they there's men there's quite a few of them out there in this social media streets and uh, they can understand it you know they might even discourage marrying a single mother you know so but these two two here eula doce and uh and and uh yule doce and uh what do you call it yule doce and what's his name again daddy freeze <laughs> did i just say what is daddy freeze's name voila, voila, voila. <laughs> daddy freeze daddy freeze daddy freeze right so a lot of modern men uh would 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 uh would refer to daddy freeze and yule doce as as simps simply because they married a single mother with with um they married single mothers particularly with multiple children right and they particularly refer to them as wait for this wait for this they particularly refer to those children as baggages okay they particularly refer to those children as baggages so they might call them you might see people calling them sims out there on the internet streets hit the like button hit the like button thank you so you might see that all right and i'm curious to know what your thoughts are whenever you see that if you haven't seen it yet right so today we're going to talk about mr obasi all right the certain the certain drama that can potentially come with marrying a single mother who has kids right so imagine shout out to my brothers the ones that are listening or watching the replay later on imagine you married a beautiful some people don't agree with that but it's okay drink water imagine you married a beautiful judy austin watermelon right but she came with two kids and then you woke up today and then you find that you you are being dragged by our ex-husband just imagine it okay so brothers that's for you okay now ladies especially if you have a son you could probably relate small a little bit imagine you woke up today and your son is being dragged by the ex-husband of the wife that he chose all right scrap 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 that for a second hold on let's go back a little bit imagine that you woke up two weeks ago and you're still having to deal with the five million naira lawsuit from the ex-husband of the wife that your chon i said chon <laughs> that your son has chosen 
for as long as like nine years ago they're still dragging this case but you wake up to your instagram you're like a popping melanie popping popping grandma glamour right and then the next thing you just look into your instagram and you see that your son is getting dragged just for loving the woman right if god showed you that up front would you could you possibly like tell your son to avoid that kind of drama everything else being equal nothing is wrong with her character she's a cool person she's good the only thing is she's he's had your son now has to deal with this kind of drama that's the angle that the title came from the dangers and the beauty maybe question marks right the beauty of marrying a single mother that's where the title came from and i want us to talk about it you know uh, i want us to talk about it take our time on it because it it can be a triggering topic okay it can be and i want to acknowledge that and i know why it can be a triggering topic because after all uh while women may have made choices that led to becoming a single mother it's just life circumstances so i can understand i can understand that it can be a triggering topic if it's too triggering you can always leave quietly but let's have this conversation because you might be on the on the on the perpetrator side today you might be on the victim side uh just literally 18 years down the line from here so let's talk about it and then talking about it does not mean we're going to judge anybody we're not going to judge anybody we don't do that here anyway i don't do that you might see uh a little bit of that in the chat because i don't really control the chat and i try not to censor people in the chat but i want us to talk about life is full of risk that's the bottom line okay life is full of risk everywhere and the only thing we can do is mitigate those risks make the most out of those risks right and in spite of the risk build a quality lifestyle right in spite of all the risk all the downsides or that's what we need to be talking about at the end of the day right without judging anyone so let's drink some water let's drink some water let's see let me take a deep breath so i don't get triggered no don't worry you demand you you triggered care mm -mm. not you the triggered ones are usually quiet <laughs> uh let's see uh he hola is in his naughty mood again am i in my naughty mood oh uh he cracks me up when he's in his naughty drama king mood what did i do i didn't even start yet the issue that can create dangers is boundaries. Okay, we're getting there already. I'm going to start that. I might, I might come back to that. Whether a man with baby mamas or, or mama's boy, people without boundaries are dangerous, period. I like that angle already. I like that angle already. Uh, let's see here. All right, good. I'm going to start that and we're going to come back to it. But let's talk about Mr. Obasi first. Uh, Mr. Obasi has been dragging, at least the video came out, the video might have been there, I don't know when the video was published, but Mr. Obasi is Judy Austin's um, ex-husband from 10 years ago or so, so they are getting dragged everywhere, y Yule uh, has been getting dragged and I think I saw a statement of Judy saying that she is completely innocent. So let's listen to this first and then we'll take it from there. Okay. So again, how is this related to the main topic today? This is an ex-husband from the past. This is an ex-husband of Yule Doce's new uh, baby mother. Now, how is this related to Daddy Freeze? Because Daddy Freeze just got dragged to the mods for similar reasons by an ex-husband of his present wife okay so we try our best to prepare for the future but i think the most important thing when it comes to relationship and marriages is how to respond to crisis i think it's more important than prevention is better than cure because it actually comes with prevention is better than cure okay so when i say learn how to respond to crisis this literally means learns how to be responsible for the crisis in your life right 
meaning try to gravitate away from blade blame game but be responsible be accountable that's that literally means learning how to respond to crisis right and preparing to learn how to respond to crisis also is almost equal to prevention is better than cure because we know one thing is inevitable crisis will happen in life to all of us okay if you do if you if you're not married to a baby mother your daughter might end up being a baby mother okay is it our fault we're not talking about whose fault is it right because we can't keep digging through that we can say what do you do what we want to talk about is what do you do if you find yourself in that situation would you be as judgmental does that mean we should just be encouraging everybody to do it so it's like one extreme or the other right let's encourage everybody to do it now well first of all i haven't no i haven't seen anybody outrightly encourage it the only thing i've seen people do is say hey don't be so judgmental because your own breath probably stinks too right that's that's what i've seen people interpret as you're encouraging it okay so usually lame people will accuse people of encouraging baby mothership right but well if you don't call them out and hold them accountable how are they gonna stop let me guess okay me i can't stop it can you stop it right can you stop it can you show me your plan on how you're going to stop it outside of judging people outside of shaming people probably not right so let's calm down let's you too especially men that, that have a tendency to shame single mothers drink some water let's talk about it today because i want to hear all the angles here okay now let me play this video and let's talk oh frustrate me with these children because you know i love them now a brother like me how would i be looking at myself that i have a student of a 16 years old and a 14 years old 16 and 14 and i didn't have access to them this year making it 10 years that i have sight my sight on my children 10 years so they were six and four how would i cook hmm. any day i wake up with that kind of a man said i lost concentration Hmm, 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 hmm. Never what I will be bearing again is on their level as it is now. I will go all that far to die, die to see my children outside me. She's not with them. I'm not with them. The whole bringing of these children matters a lot to me. Hmm. The upbringing of these children matters a lot for me. Mm -hmm. if, because I know she can go any length to make money. If those, those children are no more, she will frustrate me with these children because you know I love them. Now, a brother like me, how would I be looking at myself that I have a student of a 16 years old and a 14 years old and that they all right so it's now going in circles uh, i'll see now it's a very sad situation that he's going through right it's very sad situation that he's going through um i can't imagine it for since six and four years old and he's not been able to see his children right now there's a theory out there um that this man i i could i could hear that it's not just it's, it sounds like somebody that lives in a village or uh, in a city somewhere who is not as educated as a judy austin or yule doce right that's what it sounds like to that's what he sounds like to me right and because i'm looking at the chat considering you guys i see chinje said uh he's aged quite a bit right yeah, from the previous picture that I've seen of this guy, he's definitely aged quite a bit, which means he's probably not in the best condition to probably even raise kids. Maybe, maybe not, because there are people in villages raising kids in their to the best of their ability, right? That doesn't that should not stop anybody from not allowing him to see his kids access, right? Remember, for the past few weeks, we've been talking about access quite a bit here, right? So again, this is where it's pretty sad. Now, here's the angle I want to bring in right there's got to be more 
to the story. There's got to be more to the story before 10 years, before his wife, who we know has a certain type of, she doesn't care. She's taking over um, Yule Doce, basically, from what we've seen, and she doesn't care. But she doesn't care about the rhetoric out there. So we know that that person only cares only to a certain extent, right? But there's no traces of these kids anywhere on the internet that I've seen personally, right? And this man is actually going to the extent of saying, if the kids are no more, let me know. That means he has no traces on social media, nothing. There's no way for him to tell, right? So... If it's a poor man, like a, like a man that has no resources whatsoever, it's going to take almost never for him to ever see those kids again, right? And the people that put a camera to his face right now that he's shooting this, are they actually going to go to the extent of helping him get some resources so he can at least have some access to those kids? Who knows, you know? But um, I want to hear more, and I want to, and I'm more, I'm more, concerned about the narrative on the social media about this not in particularly because me personally i can't relate with him and i can't imagine it and i just feel sorry for him okay that he's going through that right uh chia says uh he ate so bad from the last time i saw him and he became darker it's probably camera it's probably camera right um i feel like life will come back to him once he sees his kids and gets involved in their lives all right let's see is judy educated okay or i said sound i don't know these people just a matter of sound i've seen judy speak she does seem like she's a lot more educated than this guy just just hearing her speak i'm actually gonna play a video of her in a second here all right uh maybe she doesn't have phd sha we, we'll go see <laughs> let's keep going um so i want to go to the comments of this particular post and then i want to see what people are saying Somebody said, Judy's biggest achievement in this life is Yule. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. So I said, dear God, if the person reading this is struggling right now, please bless their life in a major way. Amen. Not only struggling people, it can bless all of us. Anyway. Yes. Amen. He might not even be that old. He must have been going through a lot. This man is probably not even more than my age and that's 44 so i've been seeing more and more lately people that look like they are 20 years older than me and they're not really older than me i've been seeing that more and more lately maybe i'm looking older and i'm not noticing too but oh well he might not even be that okay so somebody said now nah, our ex-husband be this no wonder she they see you like bradley cooper okay so again, people, what they're doing is they're saying they're measuring the X with the present. And they're saying, oh, no wonder. Okay. But in the same breath, they don't want to justify it. But then they're kind of justifying it. Okay. But it's been 10 years. 10 years is a long time ago. He said 10 years and Yule Doce got married to her last year. It does not make sense. It means the relationship had ended before you started dating her. If she left him 10 years ago yule has not committed any sin here okay you could have met her after she left him now it is beginning to make sense she has to make arrangements of allowing the children father to see his children all right now what do you guys think about that comment let me come to the chat let me, what do you guys think about that comment that person is saying 10 years ago welcome marriott that person is saying 10 years ago is when they broke up. You just married this girl two years ago or so, right? So, give or take, let's say they have been dating, doing side hustle, you know, extracurricular activity for maybe three years. That makes it five years. So, let's just safely say five years. If it's more, let me know in the chat, okay? Let's say they've been messing around for five years, right? That is still much less than 10 years ago when she left him. So can somebody clarify that up for me? Let's see. Uh, Mario says, watermelon, where are the kids? Um, I heard our ex sent her to school. Not sure if it's true. That's what the ex said. That's what the ex said. 
right? Now the X is showing up as somebody going through a lot. So, uh, but maybe it's over time. Maybe it's deteriorated over time too. Uh, what are its legal recourses? I'm thinking paternity tests, alleging adultery and kidnapping, uh, asking court for some form of custody access. If paternity proves they are is, well, I think if he was ever married to her and that's proven even in customary court if they can prove that if she's admitted to be married to him i think that's more than enough proof that he has paternity rights it doesn't have to be biological right so that's really all they need if they if he can prove that hey my children that uh you know were six and because you just got with right so that's all it takes they don't need biological proof unless there's actual uh dispute around the biology of the of the kids if there's no dispute specifically around that there's no need for dna test they just need to prove that they were actually married all right uh let's see cam d says mr obasi is not asking judy to come back people mentioning his looks makes no sense at this point the man is asking for his kids all right all right let me go back to some of the comments here someone say chai or got emma that was full of that was full of life back in the days so people knew him apparently this man you guys are seeing here is the envy of all guys in my area before judy came into the picture you know go better for that lady Azioku. all right so did she do something to him or it's just as simple as uh well that's not simple that can hit the man the wrong in the wrong spot is it because she left somebody said no wonder she fit die for you now her biggest achievement too all right nobody's addressing the issue yet so far okay the issue here is very simple he wants to see his kids why is it that in all of the three to five years before i'm assuming it's an assumption i could be wrong correct me if i'm wrong why is it that in all the three to five years after she left immediately after she left why is it that um what happened right that he didn't have access to his kids right i think there was also a story i know she left and she wanted to go and act or pursue her dreams in enugu from some kind of village correct me if i'm wrong or i'm just trying to ride on you guys wave here a little bit right so what happened in all those immediate years or even the years when they were married because at least they were together they had a six and a four year old right what happened in that relationship whatever happened in that relationship for the most part will not justify not allow him to see his kids if it's a situation where he's dangerous to the kids which is usually minority of the cases then we need to show some proof that he's dangerous to the kids right we offer evidence-based relationship and marriage resources and coaching to help you navigate the difficult times don't just wing it learn the principles that work download our two free books and book your complimentary coaching session now at manofprestige.com